Hello. <laughs> Got a champagne, yeast, apple, wine, apple cider. One, two, three. It's this color. I mean, you can tell. But looks like that to be started with, and then looks like that, and then this. Uh, see, it's different, eh? That's the uh, ale yeast. Changes the color of the, the product. The yeast, eh? So this is a champagne, which is like a wine yeast, just a generic wine yeast. It's supposed to get tolerated up to, uh, I don't know, 13, 13 percentage uh, alcohol. So I don't know. If there's enough sugar in here to get 13%, probably not. It's uh, 25 um, grams of sugar per uh, cup or something for apple juice, and it's 33 or 35 for grapes, eh? But it'll, it'll really push it for as much alcohol as we can get per, for sugar. And the ale yeast, I think it's, um, I think it might cap at 9%, but apple cider might be capped at 9% anyway so but the ale yeast tastes uh, sweeter and uh, the champagne yeast is a little more dry but just to try something different hopefully it's not sour last time it was a little sour but I didn't have uh... well it wasn't bad it was good good stuff but it's a little more sour than the ale, eh? and uh, but I didn't have uh, the proper equipment back then. I was just doing it in uh, buckets, so I was just curious what it tastes like now with the the, the professional shit, professional uh, carboys and all the right equipment. So yeah, it's sort of. Uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, sealing the uh, the oxygen, so and uh, the product would get the. Uh, it would still work somehow <laughs> and turn into boost or cider, but uh, but yeah, it wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't. Um, it would spoil after uh, not too long, eh? It'd be good. You could drink it, but then it would spoil like uh, real quick, like within a month or so. But. This stuff shouldn't spoil as long as you put it into bottles right away. And bottle it. I don't think it should spoil anyway. As long as the equipment's uh, clean. Sanitized and stuff. Got the cleaner and the sanitizer. That's it.